it comes early in the morning helps our crops to yield food helps us do our work helps us to build a better world but in the evening it goes into hibernation thankfully we have the artificial lights in the evenings we can decorate our world with these colorful man made lights and continue to be productive even when the sun goes down these lights are an awesome piece of science and engineering it is the result of the tremendous efforts of many tinkerers in history many of us believe that the electric light was invented by thomas alva edison he didn't invent the concept of lights at all he engineered the light bulb made it better cheaper and more efficient let's go back to the history to understand what exactly happened for millions of years people spent their lives in darkness during the night the romanians began using candles in 400 bc slowly the candles evolved into different kinds of oil lamps in 1752 benjamin franklin discovered electricity since then many scientists tried hard to create light with the help of electricity In 1802, so Humphrey Davy became the very first person to invent an electric arc lamp. What would you do if you were given a battery? You would try to connect a motor from an old toy and play with it, or you would connect an LED and light it up, or you would just throw it away. At that time, Humphrey Davy had nearly 2000 to 3000 batteries which were the most powerful in the world at that time. One day, he connected all the batteries together and placed a carbon electrode across the wires and passed the entire current through this electrode at that moment an arc light light was formed between the electrodes and the electrode destroyed completely this was the first time mankind had witnessed that it was possible to create light using electricity this electric lamp is what we call an arc lamp today though his electric lamp lit up it burned only for a very short time so he didn't find any practical use other scientists who came after him tried hard to make a more efficient and practical light bulb in 1840 a british scientist wahan dilahu did something interesting he used a platinum electrode and placed it inside a vacuum tube ah guys vacuum means nothing believe me it's nothing the place where there is not even air is called vacuum so When the platinum electrode is inside the vacuum tube, very few gas molecules react with the platinum electrode. So he believed the lifetime of the platinum electrode will increase. Moreover, the melting point of platinum is somewhat higher. So he believed the overall efficiency of the bulb will increase. This was the most efficient bulb at that time. But this light bulb had two main problems. The cost of the platinum electrode was very high. and the vacuum pumps of that time were not good enough to create enough vacuum so this light bulb didn't find any practical application later in 1850 a british scientist joseph wilson swan designed a light bulb in his design he placed a carbon paper filament inside a glass bulb but yet again he couldn't create enough vacuum and his bulb was consuming huge power so he couldn't take it commercially In 1870, highly efficient vacuum pumps were introduced in the industry. Swan began to accelerate his experiments. In 1878, Swan used a cotton thread and designed a light bulb. The usage of this thread prevented the problem of bulb blackening at the time. In 1874, a medical electrician from Toronto, Henry Woodward and his friend Matthew Evans applied for a patent in Canada. In their patent they proposed electric bulbs of different sizes and shapes made with a carbon rod and a nitrogen gas cylinder. They tried to sell this bulb in the commercial market but they couldn't succeed in doing it. Then later in 1879 they sold their patent to Thomas Alva Edison. Edison was already working hard to design a commercially sellable electric bulb. On October 14, 1878 Edison applied for a patent titled the improvements in electrical lights after this patent application edison did a lot of research and improved his own model again on november 4 1879 edison applied for a patent for electric light in the us in this patent edison described several ways in which to make the filament which is the most important component of the electric bulb 6 months later 
He along with his team of researchers found out that carbonized bamboo can be used as a filament. This filament had higher electrical resistance compared to other filaments of the time and so consumed lesser power. With the help of efficient vacuum pumps, this filament had the capability to burn continuously for 1200 hours. This was the main thing required at the time for commercial success. Later in 1880 Thomas Edison's company Thomas Electric Light Company began manufacturing these light bulbs Then in 1906 General Electric began manufacturing the well known tungsten filament based light bulbs Edison was well aware that tungsten would be an ideal filament but unfortunately tungsten manufacturing technology was unavailable at the time Edison engineered the light bulb Then things speeded up industry started to manufacture highly efficient light bulbs For the first time in 1920, frosted light bulbs were designed. Headlamps for cars and neon lamps for advertising started to hit the markets. In 1930, flashlights for photography and fluorescent lights were introduced. In 1950, halogen lamps were introduced. Only in 1980, the low-powered metal halides were introduced. Until a few years back, we had been using this incandescent light bulb. Only 10% of the total power to this bulb returns to you as light. The rest 90% dissipates as heat. So it's a very inefficient light bulb. But since it is cheap and available easily, most of us are still using it today. In 1995, Shuji Nakamura invented the LED technology. Today, we use the cell phone, TV, and all other electronic gadgets that use led lights so you wanted to make a light bulb on your own right well let's do that in part 2 check out part 2 by clicking here thanks for watching this video see you again